What's up guys? Just got home from work and my brand new reel just came in. It's the Twin Power FD 2000 SHG. Figured just do a quick unboxing, first impressions for you. Make it a quick and easy video, so let's dive right into it. There's something about getting a new reel that feels like Christmas every time, man. I don't know what it is, but here's the handle. Here's the reel. Here's your shims for your spool, so you can get a perfect line lay. And you got your typical schematics and manuals. And you got your Shimano pouch. You get with pretty much every high-end reel that you purchase from them. And here she is, the Twin Power FD 2000 SHG. This reel I had to buy straight from Japan because it's not offered here in the United States. This reel is probably one of the top reels that's in my collections. I have two of the 3000s of the same model, the FD. It, they've been workhorses and I'm sure this one's gonna be a workhorse just as well. But what I'm doing with this reel and what I'm gonna use it for is my cooler month situations. So like late fall, winter, early spring, I'm gonna use it for my lighter uh, applications. So like either five or eight pound braid, but the rod that I'm having it go on is gonna have eight pound braid so I'm gonna slap it on that rod, which is gonna be a seven, four, five to 10. So it fits in that line class perfectly well. It's a medium light, extra fast rod. So it's got a nice fat, really great fast tip, but enough backbone to where if I do hook a bigger fish, I do have a chance. There is two models of the 2000 FD. You've got this one, which is the SHG, which is the six to one ratio, gear ratio. Then you have the S model, which is the five to one ratio. I personally like the higher ratios because I, again, I could feel like I slow down higher speed reels versus trying to speed up a faster speed reel, slower speed reel, excuse me. Both the reels come with nine plus one bearings. They both come in at 180 grams, which translates to about 6.3 ounces here, give or take. They both have felt washers which again in my 3000 review, uh, Shimano states that this is a carbon fiber drag washer. It's not, they're felt washers. So I may replace those with carbon, but I'm gonna use it a few times, see how I like it. This also has the uh, one piece bare wire. So this way you don't have the line getting any crevices and chance of you busting off. Hagani body, aluminum spool, so it's nice and durable and reliable. You won't have any issues on the frame flexing like you do with some of the auto lighter reels, including in Shimano's. Uh, Vanford, I've heard stories about them flexing. Um, Daiwa Ballistic, LTs, Fugo LTs, I've heard stories about the reel flexing under pressure. But with the Hagani Bonnie, it kind of eliminates that, almost guaranteed. But this reel is gonna be a workhorse for me, like I said, during the colder months. Lighter braid, I'm gonna use 15, 20 pound liter at tops. Uh, the drag poundage, I believe, is right around 8 to 11 pounds, give or take, somewhere out of range. I'm not really sure on that. But overall, quality of the reel feels amazing. Typical Shimano quality. Like, it just, this you definitely tell this is a premium reel. Uh, in the States, the Twin Powers run about 419 to 439, somewhere in that area. But this one, if you buy it straight from Japan, you definitely get a better discount on it. I'm not gonna mention how much I paid for it, but overall, this reel feels great. I'm looking forward to getting on the water with it. Get a couple months under my belt and doing a full review of this reel for you guys. But if you guys like these reviews, unboxings, and overall points of view from an average angler, please like, subscribe to my channel. It will help me grow and help you guys out more. If you guys have any questions about this reel or any reels about post, tackle I post, feel free to leave those questions in the comments. But until my next video, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned to my next one.